Greetings to the brightest audience in the country. I am Bob Enyart, the pastor of Denver Bible Church, an organization that has been advocating passage of FOCA, the Freedom of Choice Act. They're the Women's Campaign Forum. The Freedom of Choice Act, we are here at Bob Enyart Live on a 50,000 watt AM Christian radio station. I've been doing this show five days a week for, what, 17 years now. We are pro-life, that is, we're against abortion. So to discuss this... I'd like to welcome the president of Women's Campaign Forum, Ilana Goldman. Ilana, you were on Fox News recently. Uh, yes, I was. And you were talking about FOCA, the Freedom of Choice Act. And, in fact, you've been identified as one of the eight women to watch profiled in the Washingtonian magazine, 100 Most Powerful Women in Washington. So you and I are on completely opposite sides of this issue. If you're okay with this, I'd like to talk through the issue and see how it is that you could support the right to abortion. So could I say in one sentence why abortion is wrong, and then you tell us if I'm wrong? You, you absolutely can tell me why you think it's wrong. Okay. Abortion is wrong because it's a baby. It's always wrong to intentionally kill a baby. Okay. You know, I, I, I think that's um, absolutely a, a valid position. I respect that. Um, I don't believe, and there are many people that do not believe, that um, a baby is, a, that a fetus or an embryo is the same thing as a baby, that we believe that, um, you know, life begins after birth. Okay, you just said, and Ilana Goldman, I realize when people speak on the radio and impromptu, sometimes we overstate our case. And I'd like to... Uh, Did I go to town? You might have. <laughs> you just said that uh, we believe that life begins after birth. I'm sure that's not the case, right? You know that the baby in the womb, when he's sucking his thumb, playing with his toes, if they're twins, they grab one another. The baby learns his mother's voice as compared to the voice of a nurse or a doctor. The baby can actually learn melodies to songs. Ilana Goldman, again, the president of Women's Campaign Forum... And let me ask you, is it living? I mean, personhood is one issue, and being alive, like a plant is alive and a rabbit is alive, but a plant is not a person. So whether you're alive, that's a separate matter from whether something's a person. So do you agree that it's alive? Just in the biological sense, is it living or is it dead? I'm going to be perfectly honest. I, I, what you're saying does not make sense to me. I'm asking if, if, you, if it's If you living. want to talk about... What, is ha what, what are the realities? I realize you don't want to address the issue of what it is. You'd rather skip over that to talk about strong emotions and majority I'm, opinions. I'm not skipping over that. Okay, really well then, could you answer question. this question? Could you answer this? Because you said life begins after birth. I think you overstated your own case. But is it living? Is it living or is it dead? I mean, something, there's inanimate things like rocks are not living. So the fetus in the womb. It's sucking its thumb, playing with its toes, sleeping, it dreams. Is it living? I'm not saying is it a person. Is it living? I am unwilling You're to engage. You're afraid of that question. No, I'm not afraid of that question. Well, then answer it. Is it living? It's think, either living I or dead. I, that I think the definition of life, what is life? When what? does life begin? These are questions that people reasonably struggle with. You've come to a conclusion on something you say that is a very controversial emotional issue, but it seems that our conclusions will be more reliable if we can be objective and intellectually honest and deal with the fundamental matters. For example, what is it? And Ilana, the audience is hearing that you're one of the eight women to watch in Washington, but you're afraid to say whether it's living or dead. And that should be a simple statement just of biology, not even legality or morality. Again, is it I, alive? I, I, I want to be perfectly clear. Yeah, I'm not afraid of this question. I just think it's a ridiculous question. It's well, not one. Well, you can't decide what no, to do sure, with it no, unless no, no, you know I what can it have is. I have an opinion on this. I, I, I am gonna. I'm answering you straight. I don't. I don't think it is the right question. All right, I think well, it is a question that we, as a society, do not have a consensus answer to. That we all have different perspectives right. on based on a range of things in our backgrounds. And it's not the place to have the conversation. The place to have the conversation is 
Sometimes there are difficult decisions in our lives. Should the government be the one making the decision? Okay. That and, is the issue. And 100 years ago, they said the greatest evil in the world was slavery, except for abolition. And there's all kinds of ways to obfuscate if you want to ignore the fundamental question of what is it. Before I know what I can do with it, I have to know what it is. Can I dispose of it? Can I throw it out? Can I kill it? Well, the question is, what is it? And that seems to be, Alana, even though you're a leader in this issue, you seem to be afraid to address that. Let me ask you this. What is a fetus? What is a fetus? What, what's your game here? What, I mean, we're on the show. Yeah. My understanding was you want to talk about, about what FOCA is and, and what the objectives are there. Yeah. You want to talk about the Colorado person. FOCA says you can terminate so I'm, it. I'm happy I'm to talk what about, those, about the policies All right. and the politics. I'm not going to get into larger questions of, 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 of life, religion, and science.